Hello and welcome to our second session. So, once you installed um, Weka, and I hope you did it right, the first window to see is this small window right here. So, in the top menu here, you could see, for example, things like program, where you can uh, learn more about Weka. You can, um, you, you know, you adjust your memory uh, usage. You can do uh, settings. Also, in the second tab here, you can see some of the visualization tools. And we are going to explore uh, most of these tools during the course. So the next tab is very important tab, which is the tools, where you can see here package manager. And this is will help you to install and uninstall uh, packages. There's also a help um, uh, tab here. You can straight away go to uh, Weka homepage, where you can even learn more about Weka. You can also see here, these are uh, applications. We're going to uh, explore all these tabs um, uh, later on, but for now, we'll be uh, more or less, um, you know, using the Explorer uh, quite often. For example, here, once you click on this Explorer, the first window you see is the window right here. So, this is where everything is happening. You see, for example, we can, uh, on the top menu here, you can see pre-processing or pre-process, where the data is prepared for uh, the learning step. There is a button here, uh, sorry, a tab here for uh, classifying data, clustering, association, selecting attributes, and so forth, visualize. In your case, you may find your interface slightly different. You may not see the Python scripting. You may not see uh, the, um, uh, the deep learning uh, tab here, which can be added uh, using the, the tools, as I mentioned. So in the second um, uh, menu here, you can see, for example, you can open file. You can read, of course, file from uh, URL. You can also open it from a database. You can generate simple or random data. Also, the, you know, when you go for pre-processing, then you can explore many methods for pre-processing. And we are going to do this in our next module. Explore each and every method in here. For now, let's open a file and look at how um, a work works. For example, when you click on Open Files, Usually because, as I mentioned, this is a, a window operating system. So when you search for uh, where work is installed, you'll find it uh, basically in the C drive. By default, go for program files, and then you can find it right here. All right? So when you click on it, you find we have uh, some data folder. There are some sample data that uh, comes with uh, work when it's installed. So when you click on it, then you find, for example, these are the two data sets we discussed during our module, the weather nominal and the weather uh, numeric. So click on the first one, and you could see straight away the data is loaded. Uh, if you recall, the data has five attributes, including uh, uh, the last one here, which is the class. So it's five attributes, and there were 14 instances. You could look at your data here when you go for edit. This is... Uh, basically, the data set. Outlook, if you remember, still temperature, humidity, windy, and the decision whether to play or not. This is the data about playing certain games uh, given certain uh, weather conditions. So when you explore here, for example, click on this, you find uh, under Outlook there are three options, sunny, out, uh, outcast, and, and rainy, for example. And you can change these variables. So we can detect it straight away what kind of uh, what in each and every attribute what are the possible uh, variables temperature you can see here we have options of hot mild and cold and cool you can see under humidity is either high or low or normal you can look here false or true under uh, windy and also under play you can of course expect that to see uh, two classes whether it's yes or no so you can do any changes here for now, we'll just keep it as it is. Also, you can see here, whenever we, um, you know, keep on changing these attributes, then we can see a little visualization here representing the 
uh, two classes the for example the no in red here and the blue which is the yes so you look at outcast uh, outlook sorry and you have here uh, three possible three variables so when you go for outcast straight away you find like four out of four are actually ended yes so that means this is a, a perfect pattern we can use it in order to um, advise whether the person could play or not so things like for example sunny might not help unless we uh, have more evidence from other attributes so the button all here is very helpful it can uh, select all uh, and this is uh, you know important when you have so many uh, attributes so none you can even select any of the attribute you can remove it right and whenever you do anything wrong let's say I remove this by mistake I can always undo this right so we also talk about uh, classification very briefly we are going to discuss it more and more but let's have a look when you go to classify uh, tab here then there is no classifier selected here we can choose for example any classifier in this case uh, we're gonna for the one which we discussed and we're familiar with which is under trees then you find GA48 that's the implementation for decision tree you hover uh, over it here then you can learn more about it so we're uh, selecting the J48 you can always adjust the parameter parameters of this uh, decision tree by just clicking on this uh, uh, the bar here the white um, area here you can always uh, uh, by a simple click you can actually uh, build your model so in this case we have data set and we are just training this data set right so here this is the class in this case by default display because it's the last class in our um, uh, 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 attributes so when you click on start straight away you can see uh, the thing is happening here straight away the model is built in this case uh, the training is 100% accurate and there is no any uh, uh, mistakes in here so you can always right click here and you can actually visualize the tree you remember this right so straight away you can see for example in the case of outlook when it's uh, overcast then the decision should be yes we discussed this um, uh, already in the um, uh, module and this is how it looks like of course you can move it left and right and, and you can explore uh, more but it's very good that you can straight away visualize a tree and you can uh, look at some of the patterns you know uh, structured in a tree here so uh, this is a just an introduction to uh, what uh, Weka could do of course in in uh, uh, next sessions and when we go deeper on classification clustering we're going to explore more about things like what these results mean and, and and how we interpret the data and how we can do testing and how we can uh, evaluate our models thank you very much and i'll see you in the next session